Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Kindred Kitchen. Uh, Pam's behind the camera today, and I'm right here in front of you. Duh. <laughs> Anyways, today I'm showing you guys a really simple recipe. It's a sauce that I always have on hand. And because, like, like you know, we're making everything 50-50, I keep this sauce on hand. And as you can see, there are a bunch of veggies in here. So when I use this sauce for any recipe, it kind of bumps up the veggie. So I'm not worried about, you know, sometimes if I'm in a rush or something, I'll just cook up some potatoes in the sauce or I'll just make a tomato curry out of the sauce. That way I know that, okay, I got my share of the veggies in. I'll add maybe a salad on the side just to bump it up a tad bit, but it's I don't add any spices to it until I'm using it. That way you can use it for an Italian recipe, an Indian recipe, even a Mexican recipe. I did like an enchilada sauce one time. I just... I just toasted up the taco seasoning and then I just poured the sauce over it. So I got my veggies in. So if, if you're following us on Instagram and Facebook, on Instagram, we post everything on there. And sometimes I usually post on there that this I'm eating such and such with my veggie loaded sauce. This is the sauce I'm talking about. And as you can see, I have onions, I have four carrots, I have zucchini, I have about seven tomatoes here, and I have a red bell pepper. Now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to roast this up. I'm going to roast it, I'm going to peel the, the char skin off, and then I'm going to blend it with everything. And do you have like a bulb, a whole bulb yes, of garlic Yes, that's here? a whole bulb of garlic. You know, garlic, yeah. that's how I, I run with it. If, if a recipe calls for one, I'm just putting the whole bulb in. Yeah. But this is my recipe. <laughs> it's something I created after going on the 50-50 diet. And especially us Indians, we... We use a lot of tomatoes and onions in our cooking. So I just thought if I have a veggie loaded sauce on hand, I can cook up anything. So what I usually do if I have the sauce on hand and I can't think of anything, I'll just throw in some, I'll warm up a pan, I'll put some cumin seeds in there, some curry leaves and throw that in and it becomes a tomato curry. I'll just add salt, some turmeric and pepper and there you have it. And you can make it a tomato soup, you can add your Italian seasoning, oregano, salt, pepper and you have a tomato soup. So you know, it's very versatile and it's super easy and I always have this in my fridge. And there's another recipe uh, that if, if you're making like a chana masala or a alu gobi, gobi is cauliflower, anything, you, you can cook it in the sauce. That way you bumped up your veggie and you're on track with 50-50. And especially during this time, the holiday season, it's easy. You have the sauce, dump it in a pan, put your veggies in and get your 50-50 going. So let me, let's get started on this. Let me tell you how I'm going to do it. Now this I'm going to roast, but um, I'm going to get these cooking first because then that can roast by itself. So I'm just going to chop every, I'm going to blend everything in the end anyways after it's cooked. So I'm just going to roughly chop it all and just dump it in there. And I have a Ninja Foodie. So if I were doing that, V has her pressure cooker for veggies. I would just do, I would pressure cook on high for like five minutes for veggies. If I had beans in there, I would add an extra five minutes, but it really does not take long yeah. for veggies to pressure cook. I only do it for five minutes because yeah. you want them really soft if you're going to yeah. blend them up anyway. Right. So, and, and, and you know, I've, um, let me tell you something I've used this and people don't even know, but their veggie just bumps up and they're like, Oh my gosh, it tastes so good. It tastes good because veggies add a lot of flavor to food. Absolutely. So, you know, it's easy and this is the garlic going in and the color turns out really pretty and and if you don't have fresh tomatoes on hand you can use canned tomatoes those work just fine just make sure you read the ingredients because there are a bunch of products out there that do have added oil and stuff in their products so just make sure that you're reading the labels and I'll tell you when you're reading labels natural seasoning natural flavors is a tip-off you know, yeah. you don't know what natural flavors are, and they consider a lot of things natural flavors. Yeah. So, and I gotta tell you this: the a few days ago, I went to the grocery store to shop. Now, my daughter has an allergy to food dye, red food dye, and I saw a few tomato cans that had red food dye in it, mm -hmm. and I was like, "Wow!" And, you know, I didn't why? even why exactly you know? why. Like, I wouldn't have even thought of that. I mean, they have their own natural color, which is pretty enough. Why Why do mm -hmm. they need... But you do have to. Yeah. And we say that all the time in our videos is read the labels, read the labels. But yeah. you really need to read your labels. And yeah. you need to read them consistently because I have had products that I've used for years 
And then, then suddenly the ingredients change. I'll, I'll tell you about that too. So Kashi waffles, I used to have that on hand. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes the kids want breakfast, the waffle breakfast in the morning and I can't make mm -hmm. it enough for them. So I used to have the Kashi waffles on hand. The other day, you know, I was about to grab it. Their packing and everything has changed. So I, it took me a minute to find it. But when I found it, I saw eggs in their product. And I was, I was really bummed by that, you know? Mm -hmm. That's like the, um, what is it, Dave's Killer Bread? Yeah. Adding oil, you know, exactly. if you don't read the ingredients, you don't know know the change. So yeah. you do have to read, so be cautious so, and read. Yeah. So here it's I have, packed. I'm gonna, yeah. And I'm just gonna add about one cup of water. These veggies are gonna let go of their water as well. So one cup is good enough. I'm gonna have, I'm gonna make this give like about two to three whistles. And then when it cools down, I'll show you guys, I'll show you how to blend this up and keep it in the fridge. Okay, so while I have my other stuff for the uh, sauce going on, I'm gonna roast this pepper. And the reason I roast it, you can add it in the cooker. Just the roasting adds a little smoky flavor to the sauce. Now can you like, broil it yes. in the oven because I don't have a gas stove. Right. So. so when when I didn't have this burner, the gas burner, what I would do is I would cut it in half. I would take out the seed, place them the skin side up mm -hmm. and broil it for like, yeah. you know, you got to check on it. When you're broiling, you got to check on it, but it works just fine. Okay. But yeah, this just adds a nice flavor to the sauce, you know, just just a little smoky flavor. And and the smoky flavor of oh, our red bell pepper, you can yeah. see it coming up. Yeah, the, coming up the. Yeah, yay! But um, I I love this this sauce, and I've been trying to create sauces like this. That yeah. way, I know that I'm bumping up my veg, staying on the fifty fifty. Cause that's the one thing I was worried about. I said, we as Indians, how do I bump up and not stray from what I'm used to eating? You know. Mm -hmm. Because so you don't want to change your whole yeah, way of eating. Exactly. You I mean, you were, you and I were already vegan. Yeah. When and we started. Yeah. So. And you, you still want those foods because whatever food you eat on a daily basis turns to be your comfort food. Mm -hmm. So we just wanted to make it more healthy or 50-50 compliant, basically. So I was like, let me, you know. So that, and that I think helps make this sustainable. Yeah. And the process is much easier when you get more innovative yeah. with it. Yeah. So so this is this is one of the you know and and like we always say like onions, carrots, zucchini, they're they're like your free veggies. All they do is add flavor to your dish. Mm -hmm. They don't taste And zucchini doesn't change anything exactly. a lot. The flavor. Yeah. Or yellow squash exactly. doesn't change the flavor. Exactly. And I do that with soups and stuff. I'll throw in a couple of zucchini yeah. or a couple of yellow squash mm -hmm. and it doesn't alter the flavor exactly. of whatever soup my family's used to. Yeah. And even when I do like oatmeal in the morning, I'll, I'll, you know, grate up a bunch of zucchinis and add it because that way if I'm adding like a banana or something to it or blueberries, I still got my 50% yeah. veg in it. So I try to do that with the zucchini in the summer. And squashes. I think that's key. Now, if yeah. you're still eating meat, it makes it a little bit more difficult mm -hmm. because really you just got to give up the meat. You do. You do. And it's very calorie if you read, dense. If you read the starch solution, there are so many reasons why. Mm -hmm. You know, or if you watch um, Forks Over Knives, the video, or anything like that. Yeah. You know, there are so many reasons why you should give up meat. But to, to, to do what we're doing, you just got to give up yeah. meat, dairy, eggs, cheese, And, and it's milk. not really hard because... Mm -hmm. Um, although coming from an Indian family, we didn't have meat and stuff on a daily basis, but dairy is a big part of Indian culture. Mm -hmm. And that was my biggest thing to go completely vegan. It was the yogurt and the chai. Yeah. I needed to have regular milk, cow milk and the I, chai. My issue wasn't that, but in thinking about giving up bread, mm -hmm. I mean, I, I can cook vegan. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I can cook, I can bake oil free. Yeah. But... You know, I had to, I had to give up that. Yeah. Once I did, you know, then you just, you get creative and you just, you know, I, I don't miss the sweets at no, all. I don't. Uh, you know, if I want something a little bit sweeter, maybe I'll have a cup of chai or yeah. something like that instead yeah. with an apple or, exactly. you know, yeah. but that you have to get over that hurdle. I think yeah. you have to get over that block, that mind block and just do it. 
Exactly. And once you do, then you start, then it opens up, I think, yeah. for you. But and, it, and it's not hard to adjust on plant-based foods. It's yeah. actually really easy, and they're easy to cook, too. They're not hard. And honestly, it's mostly the seasonings. The mo mm -hmm. You know, it's whatever flavor you want, you add seasonings. Because meat doesn't have no flavor. It doesn't. Yeah. A lot of people add a whole bunch of salt and... A whole bunch of seasonings to it right but you can do or that barbecue to, sauce yeah. or steak sauce exactly or, you know and you can yeah. do that to you know beans and stuff and, and i remember doing that as a kid i have never liked the taste of meat uh -huh. so whenever my mom it was meat and potatoes outside of shellfish we had right. a lot of meat and potatoes i would just drown it in ketchup you know what i mean yeah. i would drown the meat in ketchup and yeah or the chicken or even turkey i would put ketchup all yeah. over it because it was like but I did see today at Trader Joe's, they had their their section, the vegan section, mm -hmm. and it had increased quite some. Well, that's so, good. You know, see, I haven't been for a while, so. Yeah. If, if you're trying to look and, you know, you're trying to get some help before you, you can try those out. To transition. Yeah. Yeah. Those are still processed. They so are processed, when you're, if you're yes. trying to lose weight, they aren't the best. Yeah. But if it helps you transition to meat-free, right. it is a good option. Yeah. Yeah. If, if, if it's that mouthfeel, what you're looking for, I mean, yeah. it's worth a try. Different brands have different yeah. flavors and different textures. Mm -hmm. And I know we have a local brand made in Asheville, mm -hmm. you know, that has a good, yeah. m you know, a good vegan meat substitute type of thing. But look here, my pepper is I done. I know, it's beautiful. Right? And I'm going to let the steam, I'm going to cover it up and let it steam for about 10 to 20 minutes and then I'll just peel the skin and I'll have it ready and then I'll blend it with the rest of my stuff. All right, so um, as you can see, everything is nice and all soft. and steamy. Yeah. Oh, it looks good though. So I'm gonna blend this up in a minute. I'm gonna let this sit here while I see what's going on with my pepper. So, mm, it smells so good. I just got the whiff of it. So what I do is I just, you can just take the knife. Now this is, you know, I covered it after I mm -hmm. this charred is after it. it I steamed a little. Yeah, I steamed it for about 10 minutes. And then it's easy because all you do is you take the knife and look at that. And don't wash. Yeah, don't wash it because you're just washing off the flavor then. So this, this is how easy it is. And if there's like a few bits that go in there, that's fine too. I mean, you know, that, that's flavor right there. You don't want a whole bunch of it because then it'll make it bitter. But if and there's a few, it'll make it kind of smoky. Yeah, either. but if there's a few bits and pieces left, that's completely fine, and it'll add such a good color to you know, it's it, it adds like a pretty color you know because it's the color is slightly different from tomatoes. It's more it has a more orange tone to it. But yeah, I mean, see how easy that was after yeah. it steamed. See, look at that. And you can even take like a paper towel and wipe it off and it'll come off without without any problem. It's that easy. And then I just open it up and I'll just take out the seeds. I see it's a little weird on the bottom, so I'm just gonna cut that part off. I'm gonna cut all the And there we go. Look at that. So I'm just going to chop this up. Put it in my blender. Chop this one up. It smells really good. And then let me move this aside. Alright, so now I'm going to start adding my veggie stuff in batches and I'm going to blend it up and I'll show you how it is. Now it's super hot so you want to do this in batches and don't fill it up to the brim but once it's cool you can. 
And also be careful opening it if yeah. it's hot because it'll tend to let off its yeah. yeah. It's so pressure. here you have it. Look at that. Look how nice and creamy that is. Oh, it smells good. Man, you can really yeah. smell the pepper in there. Yeah. You know, although and the, that won't that won't be the predominant flavor yeah. once you blend everything. Exactly. Out. Yeah. But see, look at the color and yeah. the flavor is on point. I don't add anything to it. I keep it just as is in the fridge because that way I can I can add whatever flavor I want, whether it's Indian, Italian, Mexican, whatever, whatever, even Mediterranean. It works good in soups to thicken it up. So um, try it out. I I think it's a super easy recipe. I always have it in my fridge. So. Um, Part of the 25 days of Christmas, one of our gifts to you is keeping simple plans in the fridge to stay on track with your 50-50 during the holidays. But um, check out this recipe, try it out, tell us how you like it. Um, follow us on, on Instagram and Facebook if you're not already. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you back here tomorrow. Bye.